What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm gonna be going through a GMB SEO optimization video, some tips and tricks that you can implement now so that you can get higher rankings and get in that three pack, get in that snack pack and dominate the competition. Make sure you watch to the end of the video because I'm gonna be giving you a very easy tip on how you can actually track the visitors coming from your Google My Business over to the website so you can make sure you're on track and you're getting results, right? So let's get right into it. All right, guys, so first of all, I kind of want to show you some of the results that I've got for my client, a garage door repair business in San Antonio, Texas. So you can see that we're dominating the local area in one, two, um, looks like position one and two for the most part. I also did a search using, I think this is the new tool from Bright Local. Not sure exactly how accurate it is. I just wanted to get another, uh, point of view or perspective in terms of the actual rankings, right? So you can see that it's also, uh, we're also getting some top two, top three positions. Um, but I probably think local Vikings a little bit more accurate, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I also did a search in incognito and I saw very similar results. So I'm going to be showing you some of the tricks that I've done uh, to improve the rankings of this business, right? So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the keyword that you're targeting does actually bring up a map pack, right? And that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can use a tool. You can also just do a simple Google search and see if a map pack or the snack pack comes up. In my case, I just like to use SEMrush. It makes it very easy. I just put in the keyword that we would want to rank for. Go to advanced filters, serve features, and then just click local pack. And then if you apply that, you know, these are the keywords that it picked up in this scenario for your keyword might pick up a lot more. Um, it just varies from industry keyword city and so forth. Right. But for sure, these are some of the ones that bring up a map pack. I'm sure there's a lot more depending on the keyword variation. Um, but I just want to make sure you guys are on the right track when it comes to targeting your keyword because these keywords are going to be very important with your on-page SEO, your off-page SEO, and so forth, right? So first tip, make sure you're targeting the right keywords, right? A uh, second tip that I have for you guys, if we go into the actual Google My Business and we go over to the product section. Now, sometimes I see that not a lot of people or businesses use this product section when you can add, you know, pretty much all the different services that you can provide. One important thing is you want to match it to the structure of your website. So what does that mean? You know, you usually want to structure your website depending on the different services that you can provide. So you usually want to target or categorize your services, you know, by residential, commercial, or whatever the case may be, right? A lot of service-based businesses do both residential and commercial type work. So we categorized the URL structure one under residential and two under commercial. So you can see these services are all under residential. So in our product section, we have a category called residential garage door repair, and then we put in our actual services, right? And this is what you want to do with your Google My Business, depending on how you have your website structured. If you didn't structure your website properly and you just have them under all uh, one service and you're already getting traffic, then there's no point of really changing your URL structure unless you want to do a 301 redirect, but just go ahead and name out all the different services that you can provide. But if you haven't uh, structured your website yet, or you have your website structured uh, correctly, um, and this isn't, you know, the exact way you need to do it, but this is what I found to get some results for my clients. So all you want to do is you want to put in all the different services that you can provide under, you know, residential commercial. So if we click on this, we have the exact name of the service. Then you just choose whatever category you have. You can create a new category if you don't have any. Um, and then you just put, you know, one or two sentences about the service. And then you can just put, you know, a call to action. What's important, guys, is this uh, learn more. So you can add a button. I would put the learn more button and then put the corresponding page of that service, right? So usually you want to have a page on your website for each service that you provide. So make sure you put the correct service that you're talking about. And then you would just do that with all the different services that you have guys, both residential and commercial. So that's another tip for you guys. I don't see a lot of businesses doing it. So take advantage of the product section. 
Another thing guys, if you go to insights and we go to the see new prof profile performance, I think this is new, um, but let's go ahead and filter by the last three months. And then here we can see other keywords that our, our Google My Business is showing up for. And maybe we don't have a page on our website targeting this specific service. And it might be a good idea to create that page if it's something we would want to rank for, right? Um, it just gives you different keywords that your Google My Business uh, could show up for, right? Or showing up for. So just a quick little thing that I saw that might be beneficial to you guys if you haven't taken a look at this yet. Um, but besides that, let's go ahead and move into uh, press releases. So press release can still be a great strategy for local because you can link out to your website, to your Google My Business, to your business citations and so forth. And they also rank pretty highly, especially for branded plus keyword type search terms, which in fact is a very important when you're trying to improve your brand and getting Google to understand where your business is located, right? Building that brand, building that entity, which is very important nowadays. Instead of just targeting keywords, you have to build your entity around those different topics, right? So what do I mean? If I go over to Google, let's go to Google and I type in garage door repair, San Antonio, uh, and we go over to the news tab. You can see that my client here uh, is ranking number one for this press release. Um, and basically, you know, we have this brand name plus keyword in the title. And then, you know, we're linking out to our website uh, with different uh, keywords, right? We have our picture uh, with our nap and then another keyword in it. And then we have our map embedded here, right? Um, and the reason these rank so well is because they get syndicated on some pretty powerful websites. So that's just another strategy guys that you guys can use is a press release uh, distribution service. You know, there's different service providers on like legit. Uh, I think web, web uh, 20 ranker has a, has a good one. Uh, Fiverr, you know, depending on your budget and what you can afford, uh, there's different, you know, places where you can get these press releases and just make sure you optimize it properly with your keyword in the title, link out to your website and business citations like your Yelp, um, your Google My Business, right? Um, and you can do those, you know, as many times as you want, really. Another example is if I type in roofing company Houston. Uh, you can see my client actually has a top two positions in the news. Uh, one here is the uh, press release that we did. And then this one is from patch.com, which if you guys didn't know, you can create a profile and kind of put like a mini guest post and you can link back to your, to your website. You can add uh, images for your company and different things like that, right? Very, very powerful tip there. So I just want to show you what it is possible with a press release as long as you optimize it correctly. Um, and if you don't know what to get a press release written about, I actually got this tip from Mindsaw. You should, guys should check out his channel. He talks a lot about uh, Google My Businesses. If you don't know what to talk about, just type in your, your uh, keyword. So for an example, Logsmith uh, Dallas. And then if you go to, you know, news, you're going to see different types of, uh, you know, press releases or uh, websites that are appearing on the news about this related topic, right? So for an example, like locksmith, you know, what's the locksmith going to have press to talk about? Well, here you're going to get different examples of what you could have so that your press release can get, you know, on the first page of uh, Google News, right? For whatever keyword that you want to target. Uh, keyword service keyword just to give you a quick idea of what you should write your press release about or, um, so another tip there guys and then another thing that I would do is I would get your name address phone number with YouTube embeds what a YouTube embed is is they're going to embed a YouTube video that you get or that you already have they're going to embed it across different uh, websites and they're also going to add your name address phone number of your business and this is very powerful because Google's crawls all these websites and they're going to see your brand name your address your phone number 
uh, being repeated across so many different websites, it is going to build a strong signal for them to really understand uh, about your brand and where you're located. Um, and there's different service providers out there. Just a quick one that I came across here uh, on Fiverr, you know, I've one bed your YouTube video. Just make sure you ask these guys, you know, hey, can you can you embed uh, or can you add my name, address, phone number on the YouTube embeds um, beforehand just to make sure you are um, on the right track. So another quick tip that you guys can do there is get those citations on the YouTube embeds. We all know that YouTube is pretty much like Google's favorite cousin. So Google's always crawling and scraping YouTube videos for data. Um, and pictures, you can see YouTube videos that even show up on Google Images and so forth, right? So it is a very powerful strategy um, that you guys can also implement. Another thing that I would recommend, guys, is a setting up a syndication network for your website. And this goes back to building your entity around your brand. You want to make sure your brand is established, so you want to build what I believe people call a social fortress. And what this means is you're going to build up all your basic social media profiles every brand's going to have social media profiles you're going to build up your web 2.0s your wordpress your blogger your weebly your tumblers all that stuff and this is all going to help build up your brand and your entity and this is a very powerful way to do it guys because for one it's going to to uh syndicate your blogs automatically right as soon as you post it on your wordpress website it's going to post them on WordPress. Uh, we have Blogger, Tumblr, uh, you know, Evernote, Feedspot, right? And basically these articles are articles that we get, write them, and then we post them on client's website and then they get distributed to our, our own Web 2.0s. We have full control of these. We can do whatever we want with these and they're all branded. So imagine all these uh, backlinks pointing back to our website. Um, from you know these external websites that are all branded it they all have our brand and they're pointing back to our website and it's talking about related services we're talking about garage door repair garage door replacement you know and it's all pointing back to our website you guys can see how powerful that is this is a syndication network and it uses your rss feed to pull in your blogs that you post and you don't have to do a thing it does everything for you there's different services providers out there so make sure you find one and get one set up for your business um, and if you need help with any of this uh, you guys can send me a message or an email i'll be happy to help you guys so that's my last tip guys and then just make sure you're tracking your gmb uh, to make sure you can see the clicks that are actually going to your website and you can set this up with analytics you can see right here utm source google organic campaign so this is actually the traffic that is coming into the google my business and the way that you set this up guys is if you go to this website um let's see just type in campaign url builder into google and it's going to be this website right here and you just put your website url campaign source put google uh, campaign medium organic and then campaign name is a GMB and then you're gonna get your uh, URL that you want to have just copy it and this is what you want to place into your actual uh, Google my business here so if you go to info uh, and website you see this is actually the link that we're using to track clicks going to our website uh, this is another thing that I don't see a lot of uh, businesses implementing they don't know how many clicks they're getting from their Google My Business. So you do want to make sure that you're tracking all of that good stuff, right? Um, so that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys learned something new. Don't forget to get up and go out, get some exercise in, you know, get your protein in. I know a lot of the times, you know, I work a lot sitting down. So when I, whenever I work out, I relieve a lot of stress and I just feel good to get, you know, the rest of the day done and going, right? So make sure you get that exercise eat right take care of your body if you guys need any help feel free to message me send me an email and i'll be happy to help you guys out see you guys in the next one peace